directing the Department of Employment and Workforce to terminate state involvement in all the federal pandemic-related unemployment benefit programs. He says those federal programs and the payments have helped create the current labor shortage statewide. Our Destiny Chance joins us live. She is in Greenville with more on this tonight. Destiny, good evening to you. Oh, Michael, good evening to you. Well, with South Carolina opting out of this pandemic program, there are many business owners that want to see their employees back at work. The one I talked to today says at one point they were all the way down to a skeleton crew. The way I look at it, it's, you know, we spent trillions of dollars on, on a PPP and the purpose of that was to save jobs. But now we're spending billions of dollars to keep people at home. It's just, to me, it just doesn't pass a common sense test. Lazaro Montoto is one of the owners of the Tipsy Taco concept and founder and CEO of Tropical Grill. He says he got to see two different sides of the pandemic because it's fast casual dining at Tropical Grill and full scale dining at Tipsy Taco. At Tropical Grill, he saw little to no changes since they can service drive through customers. But on the other hand, since the pandemic, he had to let go almost 80% of his staff at the Tipsy Taco Greenville locations. I mean, we were down to a skeleton crew. He says the toughest part has been trying to get people back in off unemployment. I've been saying this for a couple of days and, you know, talking to colleagues and friends. And when I saw that come through, it was like it was refreshing to see that somebody's paying attention because honestly, we felt like we were on an island out here, you know, wondering what's going on. We have our hands in the air. Governor Henry McMaster says in part what was intended to be a short term financial assistance for the vulnerable and displaced during the height of the pandemic has turned into a dangerous federal entitlement, incentivizing and paying workers to stay at home rather than encouraging them to return to the workplace. I want to say probably 90 percent right now of where we need to be. We probably need to hire another, you know, 40, 50 people. Well, on our website, WIFF4.com, we have the governor's full plan and which programs the changes would include. Live in Greenville, Destiny Chance, WIFF News 4. Destiny, thank you for that.